What challenging task have you done lately that brought out your creativity? Find out the story of Ella. Ella Takes the Cake by Carmela and Stephen D. Amico Ella and her mother had lived in Little Village for nearly a year. It was already summer vacation and the bakery was busier than ever. Ella tried her best to help. But sometimes, she didn't feel very helpful. She'd already swept the floor for three times. There wasn't a crumb on it. When the oven timer went off, Ding! Ella thought she'd help by taking out the macaroons. No, 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 her mother sang. You might burn yourself. I'd like a piece of pineapple pie, said the next lady in line. I'll cut you a slice, offered Ella. No, her mother said. I will. The pine knife's very sharp. But I want to help, said Ella. You are helping, her mother replied. Ella's mother rushed outside and called him, but he didn't hear. What's the matter? Ella asked. Oh, Mr. Bond just forgot in a cake again, she sighed. And this one was supposed to be at the lighthouse by noon. Ella wished she could help, but what could she do? She thought and she thought. Then she said, I have an idea. <laughs> well, Ella, her mother laughed. This will be very helpful, but please be careful. Go directly to Captain Colonel's lighthouse. Don't worry, Ella said happily. I promise I will. She eagerly paddled off. But her mother called out after her. Ella! Ella! Don't forget your lucky hat! As Ella passed the fire station, she spotted Belinda sitting on the curb. Hey! shouted Belinda. Can I have a ride? But there's not enough room, protested Ella. Sure there is. I'll make room said Belinda, squeezing in. In the marketplace, they passed Miss Melba. Ella, Belinda, where are you going? We're on our way to the lighthouse to deliver this cake, Ella said. How about you? I'm on my way to the hospital to deliver these fresh bananas. Well, we're headed that way, Ella said. Would be glad to take them for you. Miss Melba beamed at her. You are so sweet, Ella. But it's such a beautiful day. I look forward to the walk. Around the next corner, they ran into Mr. Sneed. Hey, Mr. Sneed, Belinda said. Where are you taking those books? Because I could take them for you if you want. I'd be glad too. I'm taking them to the library, but are you sure you have enough room? Sure, I'm sure, said Belinda. The library was not on the way, and the books are heavy. But Mr. Sneed looked so relieved that Ella couldn't object. Next stop, the library, she said. But the library is so boring, groaned Belinda. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to the village square. We can't, Ella said. We have deliveries to make. All right, Belinda shrugged. I guess I'll go alone. But I was going to ask you to push, said Ella. Well, asked Belinda. What would you have done without me? 
Without Belinda to help her, Ella had to pedal with all her might. Finally, she reached the library. Wobbling off her bicycle, Ella unlatched the back of the wagon. But the hill was just a bit too steep. The cake started to slide out too. Though, Ella managed to stop it just in time. Thank goodness, she gasped with relief. It was much later than Ella had thought. How could she carry all those books into the library quickly? She grabbed her lucky hat. Much to her surprise, no matter how many books she put inside, there was always room for another. Ella dashed from the library just in time to see the cart break loose and go barreling down the hill. She raced after the cake, past the marketplace, through the square, and toward the water. Fortunately, the drawbridge operator had seen them coming. Clickety, clickety, click. He lifted the drawbridge up quickly. Back on her way, Ella crossed paths with Mr. Banjo. Oh dear, is that the captain's cake in your wagon? He asked. I can take it from here if you'd like. Thank you, Ella said. But I would really like to finish what I've started. When at last she saw the lighthouse, she sped up, hoping she wasn't late. The captain came to the door and spoke in a deep, gruff voice. Are you the new delivery man? No, Ella giggled. Well, isn't that an awfully big load for such a little girl? He winked. Not too big, Ella assured him. Well then, Captain Colonel laughed. You must be bigger than you look. Ella turned home to the scent of cinnamon rolls baking. How did it go? Her mother asked. Fine, Ella replied. That was a very helpful idea, said the mother. And while you were gone, I had an idea too. You did? Asked Ella as she reached for the broom. Yes. I thought that later you could help me bake a Zanzibar cake. Really? asked Ella. Zanzibar cake was her absolute favorite. Yes, her mother smiled and handed Ella an apron. I know it's too big, she paused. But you'll grow into it before you know it. She hoped her mother was right, because more than anything else, Ella loved to help.